Hi, my name is Gabriella, and I go by Feeding Wolves. In this short video, I am gonna give you a glimpse into my creative process when creating inside of Unreal with motion capture data. Typically what I do is I record my motion capture data with the XN Link suit and the Manus Prime 2 gloves. Okay, so now that I've got the gloves and the suit on, I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate them. So I'm gonna show you on my screen what that looks like. Looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and calibrate the suit. Okay, so typically what I do is I scan in an end pose and once I go ahead and hit calibrate, I'm gonna walk back and forth until the sensors know exactly where my body position is and it's technically calibrated and we're ready to create. When I'm done recording that, I do an HD reprocessing where NVN Animate cleans up all of the data. And then I go ahead and I select my character inside of the Unreal Engine project and I retarget all of that data that I've just recorded onto that character. I do this using the NVN Live Link plugin. And then I translate that animation by retargeting the data to a character rig in Unreal Engine by creating a T-pose and a live link, which I am gonna go ahead and stream in that data. I'm gonna record it using Take Recorder, and then I'm gonna go ahead and drop that character and animation into a scene. And then what I do is I set up a scene, I set up my cameras, I do a little recording inside of Unreal, and if I'm happy with it, I go ahead and I render it out. And typically I render it out in a PNG sequence. I bring it into either software, Premiere Pro or After Effects. And then I add some music. I kind of, you know, tweak it a little bit, which it rarely needs any tweaking. And then I export it out as an MP4. So that's how simple it is. I've only been doing this for a few months and I'm pretty new to this world, but I absolutely love it. And um, when I'm not creating this kind of stuff, I'm usually testing out other kind of new tech that falls under the virtual production category. Particularly, I've been testing out um, Dragonfly virtual camera and I'm trying to learn how to use Faceware Live Client plugin by Glassbox in order to get the face to move. That's the only thing I have left. And then I've got my friend Enzo here, my little dog who keeps me company and reminds me that I need to get up and exercise or go get some fresh air because I'm always in front of this computer all day long. Thank you for watching.